So today I would love to share with you how I have been growing peppers in my square foot gardens for well over 10 years. And over the past 10 years I have changed a few things and i am kind of got my own way of doing things, but everything I learned was from the square foot gardening book. And so I highly recommend that if you're using this method, to make sure that you are referring to your book and not just to YouTube videos. There's a lot of square foot gardening videos out there right now, but a lot of times they're just using the square foot gardening spacing method. They don't go into the soil mixture, which is very important because you know that with the square foot garden method, you just put out some weed block on top of like grass or wherever it is you want your garden in a sunny area. And you take your garden bed, which is usually six to eight inches high, and you fill it up with six inches of a very high quality soil blend, which is explained in the book. And that is what makes it the square foot garden method. Okay, so make sure you're referring to your book and I'll leave below the video in the um, description area links to videos which I have done and explained the soil method and other things about square foot gardening. Okay, so let me show you how I plant peppers. So one thing that I do that's different from the book and I have changed over the years is I no longer use a grid. I like to measure off my squares using a ruler or a wooden skewer, which you see me using here, and that's 12 inches long. Now peppers, we plant those one per square foot. So I like to take um, my little squares, I'm going to plant two peppers here, and I like to put a little more what's called males mix. This is the soil mixture that's explained in the book, and I'll put a little bit more in this square. The book explains that you should put one cup of compost in the square, but I like to put a little bit more of the um, males mix because it has a lot of the vermiculite in there and usually I'm planting peppers right behind where I pulled out cabbage so the soil has really been depleted with that heavy feeder of cabbage. So all I'm doing here is just amending my little planting hole with some of the males mix. And I'll also add just a little bit of fertilizer, just some organic fertilizer from the Home Improvement Store. Very easy to find. I'll put about two tablespoons per planting hole. And this is just an organic fertilizer and it mostly it's just composted chicken manure and boy it sure does smell like it too it is stinky but anyway I do put a couple of tablespoons in there and give it a good mix and then I'll just pop in my pepper plants and I like to remove any lower leaves that might be touching the soil you want to put your plant in right at soil level like it was in its pot. So don't go any deeper like you would a tomato plant. A tomato plant, you may know, is more of a vining plant and it will grow roots from the stem. And you can just see how nice and light and fluffy this soil is. It's just beautiful. And then we'll just give it a good drink of water. So you'll want to keep them watered through the summer. I don't really start harvesting peppers till August and September. Now once your plant starts to get really big, you may find that you need to give it some support with a trellis and maybe some string. Because if you're growing especially bell peppers, uh, those plants will become weighted down. You'll get some big peppers out of your garden, but if you have a good rain come, maybe some hail, even wind, and you've got a lot of peppers on there, they can snap a branch and you'll have to harvest them a little bit earlier than you might prefer. So that's how you plant peppers in a square foot garden. And I hope all of you out there are having fun in your gardens. And I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration to try the square foot gardening method. If you haven't already, you will enjoy it and it is super easy. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.